Hi everyone, welcome to Be Strong and Love Yourself, a channel for very strong people. I'm Dasha Bisali, I love to learn new things and share them with others. And today I want to talk about dopamine and serotonin, but um, I want to say in the beginning that I'm not a scientist and if you want to learn more about this subject, please do your own research. And if you find some information incorrect in my video, you can leave a comment and let me know. I also encourage you to watch a wonderful interview with Andrew Huberman. I have the link in the description box. And now let me talk about dopamine first. So dopamine is neurotransmitter or neuromodulator that works with the parts of your brain that are responsible for motivation. So it helps you to achieve your goals, to move towards your goals. And the easiest way to think of it is as um, if I was a monkey and I saw a banana on the tree, my banana is the goal. And uh, when I see the reward, um, I release dopamine and this dopamine helps me to climb the tree and get the reward. So it actually the release of this neurotransmitter happens before you get the reward unless the reward was unexpected. So if you have unexpected reward, you also can have the release of dopamine. So there might be some problems with motivation and with dopamine system in general. So first of all, there is such thing as a reward prediction error. It can be positive and negative. I guess if it's positive, it's not a big deal. But if it is negative, if for example, you expected to get a reward after you put some efforts to achieve something and you didn't get this reward, you can have depression after that. Actually, you can even stop releasing any dopamine for a while. And if it happens all the time, you can get really depressed. And the other problem with dopamine is that if we don't really direct the system and um, our actions to the right places, our focus can become very narrow and you can get addicted to something. And um, in, in order to avoid it, the best way thing to do is to set up little goals which are related to some big goal and to reward yourself for doing uh, this um, goals. To, for example, if I have a to-do list and um, work out, read a book, uh, make a video, this little steps towards some big goal um, can help me to stay motivated because I know that I did something useful for myself. And uh, dopamine can help you to learn what actions make you happy. And if you reward yourself after you did something useful, useful, your brain will remember about it and it will be easier for you to stay mot motivated next time. Uh, so um, try not to nar narrow your focus and to have several little goals um, that related to something big for you. Um, and also think of diversification in general. So for example, in life, it's better not to focus just at work or focus only on relationships. It's nice to focus on different things and do different things in different areas little by little. And uh, um, it's better to have something internal, internal goals, rather than pursuing external things all the time because there less probability of reward prediction error if you are focused on something internal because it depends on you. So now I want to talk about serotonin and serotonin is um, a neurotransmitter of uh, contentment. This is something that you experience when you're just relaxed and thankful for everything you have. And the best way to manage uh, serotonin is to learn how to be grateful. And uh, I have the link in the description box to gratitude exercise. But basically what you can do in the end of the day, you can relax and uh, think of everything that you are thankful for and appreciate what life gives to you. 
if you want to be really successful, it's important to know the balance, to find this balance between dopamine system that keeps you motivated and serotonin system that helps you to relax in the end of the day. If you have too much of serotonin, let's say, you can be too relaxed and then you will not achieve too, too many things in life. But if you all always driven, especially towards something external and you are keep you keep pursuing uh, something without being grateful for things that you have, you can just mm, burn yourself out and get exhausted and you will not have energy and, and get depressed. So this balance between these two systems, it already exists in your brain and you have it, you just uh, probably need to create some list of things that you can do to improve it if you feel that um, you are not in exactly the right place for these two systems. And uh, now I will just sum up uh, what you can do in order to keep yourself in balance. First of all, don't uh, let yourself pursue just one thing, especially external. If you want to stay motivated, set up little goals in different areas of your life and try to be more focused on internal development rather than getting something external. And um, try to think of your achievements in the end of the day. I actually have a journal where I write down whatever I've done uh, for myself during the day, what good things I, uh, what, what I achieved, and it helps me to stay motivated. Then um, think about um, serotonin and do gratitude exercises and don't forget to relax and appreciate what you have in life. So that's it for today. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'm very thankful that you watched this video. I hope it was useful. Please be strong and love yourself. Love wins always. <laughs>